What's up guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll show you how to fix Phantom Wallet Swap Field Error. So, if you're having issues with your Phantom Wallet here and you're not getting that successful swap or transaction, well, in this case, there are going to be a few things that you could do and you should know here. So, first thing that we want to do here is we want to discuss a few things. Now, if you want to have a successful transaction or swap here in your Phantom Wallet or any other wallet out there, you need to make sure that your tokens are not frozen or restricted. Now, if your tokens is either frozen or restricted, obviously you will not be able to be uh, able to swap them because maybe, for example, you've add uh, staked them. So in this case, you won't be able to basically uh, use them. But yeah, so in this case, if you're not sure they're not frozen or uh, in this case restricted, well, in this case, you should have a successful transfer here. Now, just give you the idea, let's go ahead and click on swap. And in here, as you can see, there are going to be a few things that you need to know. So in this case, when you're doing the swap or the process here itself, you want to make sure that you have enough in your wallet. So in this case, that should cover uh, the the prices here so for example the uh, fees that is associated for it network fees so especially if you don't have a lot or you don't meet the minimum here well in this case you won't be able to make the transaction now especially if like for example you're transferring cross chain so this may might be kind of more complicated because the fees are going to be a lot higher and there's also a minimum that you need to uh, basically uh, get here so for example if you like uh, swap from uh, Solana to Polygon, usually the fees is going to be a lot higher. So sometimes they like the minimum is here is you need to transfer like $15 or $10. So it's quite high. So if you want to transfer it out. So in this case, just make sure you have enough and you're really sure because sometimes you only receive half of it. And also another thing that you could do here is you want to go ahead and choose a slippage. Now, sometimes this is not might not be uh, automatic. You could go ahead and click on slippage. Now, by default, it's going to be set to automatic, but you could go and control this, uh, basically control this. So you could either uh, change it to 0 0.5%, 1%, 2%, or 1.1. So in this case, it actually, uh, in, in this section, it just says uh, your transaction will fill up the price changes more than the slippage. So especially if the uh, token itself is highly volatile, this will not proceed with transfer itself, so especially if it drops pretty, uh, uh, pretty, uh, pretty big, it will not uh, do the trade. So yeah, so if the higher values will result in an favorable trade, so this will stop you. So basically, it's just uh, stopping you from losing more. So yeah, it's a security type of security thing here, but by default, it's going to be 1.1. But if you set this to automatic, it could set this to a lower value. But then again, it'll auto automatically uh, cho uh, cho choose that for you. But yeah, so in this case, those are the things that you could actually do here. But most likely, if the transaction or the swap itself failed, most likely the network might be congested. So you maybe you, you could try again like after five minutes or an hour or ten minutes from now and see if that works. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to leave a like or maybe subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.